this is a great place. Take some white and some sienna or something. Let's create some of this uh, Oklahoma oh, okay. dirt. I'm primarily a landscape painter, landscape artist, but I gather my I like to gather my information out of doors instead of through the photograph. I like to paint on location. Okay, let's put some contrasting color right there. The first thing that it kind of struck me was the color of the rocks on here are very similar to some of the, the rock colors out around Taos, New Mexico, where I paint a lot. There's a lot of the same color in the rocks, and that has always attracted painters. Color, you know, outdoor landscape painters love color. It seems like that the water reflects all of that color and you get a great sense of harmony in your paintings down here. And I think that was something that really attracted me and I think it's something that I could take that concept and teach the, the students. You know, it could be like that piece of rock right over there. See that little rock right over there? This is the perfect opportunity to, you know, paint the outdoors. Everything that I learn here, I take back to my students, of course. Everything I take back, you know, the kids, I think it helps them so much. There's actually art out here besides in the classroom. I think that after this workshop, a lot of these teachers will go home and try similar concepts with their kids. Because what happens is when you draw and you work and you paint from a photograph, you tend to paint like the camera sees. The human eye has a focal area and then the peripheral is not as important. Uh, the camera treats everything pretty much equally. So what we try to do in our paintings is paint the painting like the eye sees and not the camera. Uh, and that, in turn, makes the painting more readable to the human eye, in which it's going to be viewed by anyway, you know. So just, yeah, getting them out and working from life is going to be a great asset to their program. There's some few places now that um, don't have street lights everywhere. You can't really actually see the real colors, even at night or the stars at night and you don't hear the rumble of uh, an interstate. And this place, it's miles away. <laughs> if I cross those out, then I get a healthier looking Instagram. And I'm not worried about total corrections on pixels that I'm ultimately gonna discard. I love photography. Every, every, uh, every year I come here, I, I learn something new. It gets you into a, a frame of mind for, at least for me, creatively. And um, in terms of landscape photography, it, it, out here is beautiful. I, I know eastern Oklahoma is beautiful, but this is really special, at least to me. This is a perfect place. This is the perfect getaway right here at uh, Quartz Mountain. You know, it is such a pretty place. In fact, my, my husband and my little boy both came too, and, and so, because they like to, you know, it's a chance to get away from the busy, you know, work, and so just this beautiful place so we just we just really enjoy it in fact my husband's been here this is his third time I think with me so it's very relaxing down here you know I do a lot of workshops all over the United States and in Europe and it's generally those places that people want to go paint are very touristy you know and you have to deal with a lot of people and you don't really get to relax you can go to paint and work but you don't really get to relax here I got you know a great sense of relaxation I called my wife the other night and I said you know, hey, we just got to come down here and chill out, and I'll sit out and paint a little bit, and, you know, you can sit in a hot tub or whatever, you know. So uh, that's one thing I'm definitely taking back. I'm going to come back down here and just relax.